All right, we're about to go out to the village again. This time we're gonna take some chicken. Or this one down here, that's a rabbit. <laughs> it's a huge rabbit. So this place is right across from where we're staying. We're staying right here at the Tops Lodging House. Pretty decent place. They got a little coffee shop over there with a restaurant and the water is right there. And we're about, what, 30 or 45 minutes from your village? So we're still a long ways from the village. So fast. And I'm telling you guys, we can smell that chicken up there. We're on the second floor just inside that little balcony there. It smells so good. Right? You like the chicken smell? Mm -hmm. So two chickens was 500. That's about 10 US dollars. So five dollars each. That's about what they cost at home. Some things aren't so cheap here. We got some fruit earlier. We got a pomelo and two mango, and that cost as much as it would cost at home. There's a lot of rice harvesting going on right now in the Philippines. It's not uncommon for rice to be dried in the street in Southeast Asia, and it covering half the road many times, leaving room for cars and pedestrians to pass. This area, they cover the whole road, and cars and pedestrians pass over it like it doesn't even exist. irrigation from the river to the rice field. Look how clear that is. Beautiful. Clean. Looks clean. And this is the end of the line. The end of commercial transportation. It's the bikes like we took back yesterday. I've been telling Elvie we need to get one of these to ride around the Philippines. There's plenty of room for baggage. We're back on the bridge going to Elvie's village and there's a tarp down here. They've got a tarp set up like a tent for shade. And she tells me that's what they do for like a birthday or a special event. They go swimming down there and I guess you bring food and everything yeah. else, huh? Yeah, bring food, have a nice day at the river. It's fun, huh? And then this is her village again. Her father's place is right over there by that blue tarp. It looks right over the small branch of the river. We just finished our chicken and Elvie is washing dishes. And I want to show you the Philippine kitchen. <laughs> this is charcoal. This is coconut charcoal. This charcoal made from coconut husk. And then over here, there's a wooden table. This table is wood and it's covered in ash and water. And that's what keeps the wood from burning. And then we got a three burner stove here. There's one burner, two burners, three burners. And then we've got some 80s American rock music that is played all over the Philippines. I like that part. It's my favorite part. So that's the Philippine kitchen tour. So I guess these guys went up a tree and got some coconuts. I didn't get to see them go get them though. Huh. I wanted to go, Elvie said it was too far. There's coconut trees all around here. Okay, show me how to open it. No, it's open already. Where's the coconut? This one. Oh, wow. So this is young coconut, huh? Young coconut. Yes. Okay, so we take this piece, we eat it? Yes. So I eat this? No. Whole thing? <laughs> no, only do it one. Only this one. Hmm. You should see the jelly off of it. That's interesting. Boko Josh, you like? Oh, it's a juice. Yeah, coca juice. Shoot ya, yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, I bet this stuff's expensive in the USA. Oh, now it's starting to rain. What a beautiful day. This juice is really good. You like the juice, Elvie? Yeah. Oh, you got me a big bite, huh? Wait, give me your glass. Oh, you put. Oh, oh. Right on. Fresh coconut and coconut water. Young coconut. It's really good. It's raining. I know. I gotta turn this off because of the rain. Oh, yeah. you gonna eat some too? Give me your glass. Don't give me too much. I had this before. It made you go to the bathroom one time. <laughs> made me run. Go, 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 go. 
Oh, they're eating the coconut. <laughs> Okay, this was an active boat terminal before the typhoon hit. And this is what's left of it. You can see this building down here has been knocked off its foundation. The dock seems to be okay, but everything out here has been completely destroyed. I've seen brick buildings knock completely off their foundations from this thing. Okay, look at this one. I mean, look at that piece of concrete move way out there. You can see the roof's knocked off down there. That is the roof of a building. The rest of the building is underneath it. Then you can see all that's left of that building is just the frame. Now the water's nice and clear. This seawall went all the way through here and some of it's just disappeared, gone. Pieces of the seawall there. But you see big sections of it missing now. This was a solid, a solid concrete seawall that is gone. It's rocking instead of sandy, but boy, that water's clear. Okay, hello. Hi. Okay, look at this building. You can see chunks of this building missing. This whole wall is missing. Then you can see where it eroded underneath the building and collapsed the floor. She was here before the typhoon hit, so hopefully she's going to be able to get us some pictures to put in the video to show what it looked like before. Hey, wait, wait. It just picked the seawall up and moved it. You saw back there, it moved it further than this one. But look at that chunk of concrete. I just, Elvie just showed me a picture of this seawall all in one piece. And it moved these huge chunks. We just got lucky and ran into a parade. There's always a bright spot. You're sitting here looking at devastation, then along comes a parade to make you happy. We're carrying the picture of someone. <laughs> so, what do I know? I'm not sure that was a real parade. They were going into the chapel carrying a picture of someone that's probably deceased. car tossed upside down. It's amazing to me though, I have seen brick buildings moved off their foundation here from this storm, but yet some of the trees survived, some of the buildings survived. Uh, that one is done for, I think. Yeah. Here's another one here. Pieces of the roof still on the ground here. It's completely collapsed inside. 